So if, if someone were looking to buy a house right now, what general advice would you give them for how to kind of do their homework? First of all, do you really want to buy a house? It's like having a baby. <laughs> you're going to be working, you're going to be worrying about this house. It's going to break down. You're going to get termites. You're going to have a snowstorm and you have to get the roof shoveled. All these things. And then on top of that, it keeps needing painting and maintenance and uh, it's a headache. On the other hand, I lived in a house. We, you know, it, it's if you value neighborhood and you value, it's mostly for people who have earned a stable job thinking I'm not going to move for 10 years. You wouldn't buy a house for a short time. Uh, if you fit all of those, uh, I think it's good. You're, it's, but it's like a consumption choice. It's not really an investment. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, uh, I think peop well, people should also consider renting, especially if they're not settled in a job and they're not. It's 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 just going to make your life easier and mm -hmm. more. Uh, and you can put your money in some other investment. So it's not like you're missing out on investment opportunities. Mm -hmm. Um, do you think that you know housing prices have bounced back considerably since they bottomed out a couple of years ago? Do you think that we're approaching or in another bubble? Well, interesting question. I think in some places we are. San Francisco, for example, they're up over 60% since 2009. That's a pretty big increase. Uh, and, uh, and some of these cities are approaching the prices they had at the uh, peak before the crisis. So uh, it looks bubbly in places. There's always going to be some places. Overall, uh, it's not as enthusiastic as it was, say, in 2005. So back in, well, you go back further, 2003, 2004, we did surveys of home buyers and asked them, what do you think home prices will do on average for the next 10 years? The typical answer was, oh, 10, 12, 15 percent a year increase. Now that was crazy. Home prices are not going to do that well. They're not talking like that anymore. People don't have such extravagant expectations. So it's looking less like a bubble than it did earlier in the century.